mods and I'll, today I'll be showing you how to create a CS 1.6 server click on start go to my computer go to your local disk and create a folder whatever you like to call it or a map and call it server HLDS or whatever you want then click on the link up the first link I've placed in my description which will lead you to this page and click on this download button over here once you've clicked this download button I suggest you save the file somewhere in your documents so it'll be easier for you to find later on I won't be downloading it because I already have it once you have downloaded it as, uh, you should open it and this should come up a box that looks like this once you have to click next press browse then you'll need to go to the directory you'll be installing your server in I've already created a CSS assault server so I'll be creating a DDoS 2 slash inferno server now I'll just click on that f folder and press OK I'll be clicking next and this screen will come up and I'll press install while it is installing it will carry on to the max once it's finished a black screen will pop up and we're waiting for the black screen and now here it is it will finish this installation then it should automatically close it's not really necessary to keep this installation up so you might as well close it and this should be downloading yeah it's gonna be really boring so I'm just gonna skip this downloading part once you have finished downloading your directory where you install the server in should look like something like this firstly I suggest you go to your C strike folder it will be taking a while to get in because it has loads of files in it and then go to your config I mean servers the configuration file it will be asking you with what program you want to open it so I suggest you use notepad so it should look like something like this then you write your server host name right here I'll be just calling it um, mcmosey assault server and that will be what it will appear in the uh, server list I suggest you don't change any of these then under sv cheat 0 I suggest you write sv lan zero then save it from this moment onwards your server will be online and steam only in order to make your CS uh, server non accept non steam clients you have to go to your add-ons folder which, which should be placed in your C track folder you just uh, click right click new new folder and you just name it the proto and press enter then you have you have to click on the second link which is in my description and click on dproto 030 and download it you would need to save it into your documents or wherever you save your downloaded files and you just press save once it has finished downloading press open and this extraction vision should come up just click on the dproto.cfg and press extract to local disk servers sys assault server c strike and highlight the c strike folder and press ok once you have finished doing that you, you have to download you have to i mean extract all of these files and press extract to local disk program files not program files i mean the cs directory and click on cs strike and then click on the add-ons then you have to highlight the dproto and press ok it will be taking a while for it to extract all the files but once it's done you can close the wizard and go to that very folder where you installed it now you will need to find the um the if you're li using linux you have to click on linux and you have to copy all of that but if you and you have to paste that into your meta mode plugins but I'll be showing how to do it on Windows you know that your proto is called DLL if you're using Windows but ISO if you're using I mean yeah ISO if you're using a Linux 
go to your metal mode metal mode folder and double click on plugins then press enter press enter and type in when 32 add ons backwards backwards slash d proto back backwards slash bin backwards slash windows backwards slash d proto dot dll now if you save this file you are completely finished and your server is online steam and non steam you are almost done and there's just one little thing you have to do and you have to go to your c-strike directory